Let's create Lego effect. To get started, click on File, Open, and select your image. Then press Ctrl plus zero to set the image as fit to screen. Now in the Layers panel, let's duplicate the layer by pressing Ctrl plus J. Now select the duplicated layer and let's go in Filter, Pixelate, Mosaic. Set the cell size to 16 and click on OK. Now click on File, New, and create a custom canvas. Keep the width 80, height 80, and resolution 72 and click on Create. Again, press Ctrl plus zero to set the canvas as fit to screen. Now click on Edit, then click Fill. Keep contents to 50% gray and click on OK. We will get this gray grid. Now press Ctrl plus R to enable ruler, as you can see on the top as well as on the left side of the canvas. Keep your cursor on the top ruler and left click and drag down to create a guide and place it at 40 pixels. Do the same from the left side. By doing this, we will get the center of the canvas. In the Selection tool, select the Elliptical Marquee tool. Keep your cursor on the center of the canvas and hold Alt and drag to create a circle. Keep the size of the circle between 45 to 48 pixels and we'll get a circular selection like this. Now add a new layer by clicking this plus icon. Note, to get the first color from your color picker swatch, click Alt plus Backspace. To get your second color from your color picker swatch, press Ctrl plus Backspace. Now we'll press Ctrl plus Backspace to add white color in our circle. Now, double click on the new layer and you will get this panel. Set fill opacity to zero. Click on bevel and emboss. Set technique to chisel hard. Set depth to 80. Size to 2 pixel, angle to 90 degrees, and altitude to 45 degrees. Click on Drop Shadow and keep opacity to 24. Set distance to 3 and size to 2 and click on OK. Now unlock the background layer by pressing on the lock icon. Double click on the background layer and click on Bevel and Emboss. Keep depth and technique as it is. Change size to 1 angle to 140 degrees and altitude to 69 degrees and click on OK. Now we will convert this into a pattern. To do that, go to Edit, Define Pattern, and name it as you want, and click on OK. Now let's come back to our main image canvas. Click on New Adjustment Layer and select Pattern. You will get this pattern panel Click on the down arrow and select the Lego block pattern, which we just created. Set the scale to 20 and click on OK. Make sure you have the pattern layer selected and change the blending mode to linear light. And we are done. Hope you liked the tutorial. Hope you got to learn something new. Thanks for watching. See you in the next tutorial.